Hello everybody. Fernando Franco sent me this picture of a hanger and asked if I would model this. First I thought well that's easy but then I realized there are some areas which need a little bit of special attention. If you look up here we have pretty sharp edges and these fade out and become very round and here is a round uh, area which supports the shoulder of a jacket which is been done here then here is a very sharp edge and uh, I thought that's an interesting thing to do so let's do it okay I start with a quad ball with uh, three subdivisions 20 millimeters radius and bring it in then go to uh, out of item mode and press the tab key to go out of subdivision as you noticed the keystrokes are now displayed uh, let me know what you think about it, this if it's helpful or if I should leave it as it was before anyway a key and I go to the front view then uh, select this quarter here invert the selection and delete then I select these edges here Z key and bring them to about here then R key but with the gizmo here and then bring this down to 75% let's see in top view that's good and then here I also bring this closer by uh, no no let's drop the two first now I bring this in also by 75%. Okay. Now I make this about 200 about 200 millimeters we can always um, resize things to make the proportion proportions match okay top view and then I delete this half delete no that was not good control Z first I must close the bottom here so I select these edges here two three four one two three four and bridge then put a single edge in here and P key and then C key and now I can select this button then press control boundary and deselect these ones and now I can bevel these edges with the square shape 
and now we have this nice flat bottom as we also see here on uh, on the hanger on the picture because you see this is a completely straight and flat area and we have pretty sharp edges around here also and this is okay now so okay back a key select these polygons here and delete now i select these edges shift a perspective and now i need to know the position the z position of this vertex here so i go to the lists and control copy escape and then i can select these vertices here then go to vertex align no sorry vertex set position control v but we need it in the z and now i can put this vertex here up to here w key closer this one w but with action center element to here and this one a bit further down to about here now we have uh, the hard edges on this side and the very round and soft edges on the other side so let's continue and construct this part here up here so i go to let's say we start from about here so shift c and then i enable snapping e key but the gizmo here and then rotate this by 25 degrees okay now i go out of snapping did i not shift C cut through here yes then I select this edge here edge split okay and now I should be able to select these edges here and move them up w key yes to about here then select all these edges r key and make them flat then i put two edges in here alt c with the count of two and uniform then we can move this one down w and this one up w 
till the top area is almost flat, like about so. Then I can bevel these edges with the round and the round level of 2. Bevel it, bevel, bevel, bevel to about here. And do the same down here. Bevel. And now we should have the rounding we were looking for. Yes, that's about what I wanted to do. Then I can add another two edges in here. Okay. Now I have to make all the cuts in here which I need. So X again to enable snapping, Shift C and cut through here, Shift click. Okay, now we should have all the cuts we need down here. Let's uh, I move this vertex to here, this one to here, and now we can select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we can bridge these. And put a polygon in here. As you noticed, I did a bridge with uh, two segments. That's why I got this additional edge in here. And I think this is probably what we were looking for. We have pretty sharp edges here. It fades out and it is around here. Now we just have to uh, align this properly. So let me see the grid in front of you. I will uh, center select it on X, then W key and move it to here. Then I can select these edges and go to vertex set position 0 on X. OK. Then we can duplicate mirror on X. Uh, merge vertices apply and mirror on Z apply. Let's see if everything has merged. Yeah, looks not so bad. Except the middle part is too wide, I think. And I remove these. Yes, better, and add new ones in. Alt C, count of one. Now that's better. But still, the middle part is too thick. And that's why I uh, go to a fall off. 
radio fall off and bring it out to about here disable snapping R key and make the middle part smaller yes and we don't need to see the grid that's it now I add in uh, the bottom this part here I will use uh, a curve and render curves so take this curve X to enable snapping and I snap to here and to here and in the mesh properties or in the mesh curve properties I enable render curves and because this I know is a diameter of 20 millimeters this will definitely be too big so I make it 5 and let's check it quickly a key yes that's not bad okay now I give this a material call it wood and now we need to uh, make the this part which I don't know the name the hook I think so I take a circle with 12 sides and bring it out it's probably a bit big make it a little bit smaller like so yes and center it in Z and X now I can take this edge here Z key move it down to here select this vertex and bevel it with a round level of zero just a little bit like so then we can select this edge up to about here and make a tube yeah that's that's okay 2.5 millimeters good then I run the quick pipe uh, here we have a little bit of a problem I can fix that later no that's okay okay then I delete this part here this one as well select this and make it smaller delete this polygon here and R key W and now we need to do this one here so P for polygon B for bevel Alt 3 shift up arrow 
B again and bring it out perspective W key but with action center selection move it to here select this part here and bevel it And now I can select this and this one and give it the material. This is uh, metal. And here I think I have a vertex too many. Yes. To here. Okay, now we don't need the vertices anymore. I can bring this one out, Shift X, delete this, R key, and W, move it to here and select this here. No, actually we can press shift tap and make the last little thing, namely the sharp edge here. I select these edges and bring in the vertex map weight with uh, 20%. And now this is a nice sharp edge. And we are done. So I use a studio environment and silver for the metal and the wood material something like this. Yes, like so. And that's it. is how I would make such a hanger and if we go back and look at the picture again you see that's pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. I hope you liked it and it helped. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.